Namaste, this is Vishnu Adhikari, in-country director for Choice Humanitarian in Nepal. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about the leadership model that Choice has developed and adopted um, through our experience of 30 uh, years of uh, being around in the developing countries. This is so critical for the Nepali context because uh, our democracy is very young and the system of uh, developing leaders, especially in the local uh, remote areas, is very uh, new. And as uh, Choice has developed a, a training manual uh, for local leaders, um, and we trained about 800 of them, um, it's been a, a good learning moment for our staff and very uh, profitable for, um, for the leaders who attended those trainings. We have seen them function effectively, efficiently with the resources and time they have. Of course, those leaders are volunteers. They have their day-to-day uh, -day life and they have to spend time to uh, make their community um, better um, as, as, as the leader of the communities. Um, we focus a couple of things training during the training of our leaders. First thing is leaders must have core values. Um, those who have core values, the members of the community uh, will respect them. But we train them to make a list of their own core values that fits to their culture, to their environment, and to their day-to-day um, -day life. Second thing we, uh, we incorporated in, in that training manual is um, performance. Uh, especially uh, in the developing countries, the uh, mala performance is a big problem. There is a budgetary problem. On top of that, the mala performance is a problem. So um, we teach them how to perform within the deadline, how to uh, coordinate, manage resources, um, how to um, organize manpower, and how to make these projects, whatever they do, um, complete time on time and complete under the uh, stipulated budget. It, that part is uh, a very, very uh, critical component of our training. Next component that we um, tell them and teach them is uh, how to be transparent. What is audit? How to keep records and financial and other records and uh, disseminate them in the communities so that communities have trust over their leaders. As leaders um, are trained, one other thing we focus is um, how to um, have a uh, connections with other agencies and nearby leader and uh, leaders from the nearby villages. This is important as we want to help them create the interdependency between the communities. Um, in a smaller uh, community setting, interdependency is vital. They cannot sustain themselves alone. They need to borrow things, they need to sell things, they need to help them when someone dies to take the dead body to three hours walking distance to, to uh, um, river bank. They need to celebrate together when they have marriages and uh, uh, have children. So this, this interdependency has to be there uh, and they need to understand that interdependency rather than uh, competing with each other. Um, they have to compete for growth, but competing with having um, 
having uh, that interdependency in their mind. So we teach that component as well. Um, leadership training uh, manual has been developed um, in Nepali. We printed them uh, thousand copies and give it to those who um, came to our training. And now the National Planning Commission the vice chairman has endorsed that manual, and that manual gonna uh, be um, spread around the country. And now we are piloting in 20 VDCs in Lamjung district, and we are hoping that as time comes, uh, the government will see the value of that manual and will be able to use it uh, throughout the country and make a change uh, among the leadership in the country. Thank you.